I just left the house uh, right about about a half an hour ago. Well, actually, just last night, cause pre trip. So uh, about 20 minutes ago, give or take. We're headed up to Cincinnati, Ohio. <coughs> Running a little bit later than I planned. I left a little bit later. Not too much later, but just a little bit. So we're gonna be we're gonna be moving on this one just to kind of make up some time. Um, let's see here. What did I do over the weekend? Well, I went to Walmart. Of course, we always go to Walmart. Uh, they had on clearance the batteries for this GoPro. I bought two of them. The batteries are normally like 40 bucks, something like that. Uh, they had them on sale for 10 bucks. So I bought the last two that they had. <laughs> Figured I only need one, but just in case, I always got that third one to turn around and sell later and make a little bit of profit off of, or, or just actually use, I don't know. But uh, they also had a, it's a miniature version or a kid's version of the GoPro. And it's got Ninja Turtles all over it. So of course I bought that for my oldest son. And of course for my daughter to kind of share. So that way they can, they can attach it to their bikes and shit like that to do whatever they want to do with it. But um, that, that one hasn't been opened yet. I also bought me a drone and learning to fly that thing is a little tricky um i got i got the gist of it but for some weird reason i just don't know if it's because i bought a cheap one i mean hell i only spent it was an 80 dollar one so i mean it's not not very expensive at all it's just a literally a kid's toy uh, flying around outside I'll get it up pretty high. It does have a camera on it, so I, I was shooting some video and taking some pictures and, and all that kind of stuff with it. But uh, flying it up and around, got it up so damn high. The wind just kind of took off with it, and it kept floating farther and farther away from my house. Even though I had that damn thing going full forward, you know, full speed forward, it just kept. I just kept seeing it going farther and farther away started getting by some trees so I silently just said screw it I ditched it off to the side crash landed into one of my neighbor's yards well somewhat of a neighbor's yard uh, probably good on a regular city block probably about six houses down brought it up and of course I had the video feed going the whole time but it only it only it stopped like halfway through it as it started going away from me, it, it kind of stopped uh, recording. But uh, I wish I would have had that whole thing on video. That would have been cool. Because it was way up there. It was way up there. But it's fun. I left it at the house, actually. I'm uh, I'm probably only going to run that one at the house. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm thinking about getting this other one that I saw at the Loves. my points on that one that way it'll be free but we'll have to go you know we'll go from there and see how it how it works but we are headed to Cincinnati to deliver this load from there I don't know what we're doing yet because over the weekend I looked at I looked at a couple load boards didn't find anything too promising and of course everyone that I called they couldn't give me a rate on the load because they don't work over the weekends. So I just pretty much said, screw it, I'll deal with it come Monday. So here we are. We're gonna deal with it as soon as I get uh as soon as I get up here up the road a little bit farther, we're gonna deal with it. Um, I'm gonna call one of our brokers that we use. See what he's got coming out of the Cincinnati area, going to wherever. Kind of plan it out that way, see what it pays, stuff like that. Uh, and we'll keep you guys informed. We're gonna start this daily vlog again. Where I'm gonna I'm gonna mount when I stop tonight. I'm gonna put my little uh, I'm gonna put my mount up here on the dash, so that way the camera always sits right there in front of me. So 
whenever I'm thinking about getting out of the truck or whatever, it's right there. I can I can see it. And be like, hey, I need to make a video. I need to update you guys. That's how it worked in my other truck. It made it, it made it a lot easier to, to remind myself to make videos until I get back in the habit again. I mean, hell, pretty soon it just become natural just to grab the camera and start recording again. But I took so much time off, it's just I'm trying to get it back in my head. It's kind of gotta get back in the flow of things. But uh, but yeah. So until then, till we stop. We're gonna keep on rolling. All right, so we're at our stop, and we're in a waiting game right now. I was a little late. It was late by like 20 minutes, but they were late also. <laughs> the guy told me our morning shift didn't do a damn thing, so uh, we're gonna have you park over here to the side, and I'm along with a couple of the trucks, and this other truck next to me has got a three o'clock appointment. So I know that's it's not just them trying to say that because I was late. But uh, needless to say, now we're in a work-in status. But, you know, hey, push come to shove. Uh, I got another load. It's going to be picking up here somewhere, going over to Michigan. And then also possibly a load going from Michigan. I told them to go ahead and book it. Uh, a load going from Michigan right there in the same area that I'm picking up. Or, I mean, that, I'm, that I'll be delivering. Headed back down to uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. So it's not too bad. Good paying loads. Keeping me running. It'd be nice. So, stick with us and we will update you soon. All right, all right, all right. We made our delivery, obviously. We did head it over here to Dayton, Ohio. We'll pick up this load come in the morning. We're eight miles away from the location now. Uh, Stopped over here to Love's. That's the exit right before where we gotta technically get off to go according to the navigation. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll deliver this one to let's see if it'll tell me without talking too much to Canton, Michigan. Then we will pick up. Messages three of fifteen. Then we'll pick up in Carlton, Michigan. And run you that one too. New messages, Damn thing talks too much. Um, so we're going up to Canton, then picking up in Carlton or whatever the hell it said, then going over to uh, North Little Rock, Arkansas. So uh, got tomorrow pretty much planned out pretty good. Following into what would that be? Following into Wednesday. Um, which is actually going to make it out pretty good because I'll get paid for the load that I just dropped. i got to scan all my paperwork in before I forget again. Um, I'll get paid for the load that I just dropped plus, uh, plus my other load tomorrow. We'll get paid for that one. So that'll be good. Um, so yeah. Other than that, um, some thoughts were crossing through my mind. Um. I'm thinking about getting another truck uh, come the first of the year. I don't know yet for sure if it's going to happen, but I'm, I'm thinking positive about it uh, because I would jump up from 75% to 85% if I get a second truck. Um, so if I do decide to get a second truck, you know, obviously I have to find something to put in it. Hopefully I can find something trustworthy. Put them in it. Pay them a good wage to where they're going to be happy. They're going to stay. They're going to keep running. You know, they're going to keep mon making money for themselves. Plus, obviously, making me a little bit of money. I was talking to one guy that that might consider coming to work for me. Uh, he's going to check out this other local position job first and see how that goes. So I wish him the best of luck. Either way he goes, you know, whether he's whether I decide to hire him on or he goes over there. Um. But uh, like I was talking to him is, you know, with that second truck, I know it's bad of me saying this as a business type aspect of I don't want to profit off the truck. I'd rather have the other driver just pay off my truck for me 
in a, in, in a way. I mean, you know, obviously I'm going to pay him for running. And the truck's going to make money. But obviously I need to put money away for maintenance and stuff like that for when that truck breaks down. Um, but then again, I don't want to get rich off of it. I just, I'd rather keep the driver happy and get, you know, maybe another truck, you know, another six months down the line or eight months down the line, a year down the line or whatever. But for right now, just starting off with two trucks and we'll run that probably for about a year, most likely, just to see how well, how well I can keep it going. Um, but that's still, that's just a thought. Don't, it's nothing set in stone or anything like that. So give me your guys' thoughts about that. If it if, if it would be a good idea or not. Um, I mean, I'm thinking it is, but then I'm, I'm thinking of the bad side about it too. You know, what happens if they just up and ditch, you know, no matter who's in the truck. Then I'm going to be stuck with another truck payment and trying to find somebody to put in it until I can, you know, we're making that payment until I can put somebody into it. So there's always that downfall. But I'm hoping the first guy that I get, or girl, whoever, you know, women, men, whoever, as long as they got experience, they know how to drive, and I think I can trust them with my with my equipment. Uh, as long as they run it good and take care of it, and, you know, and I and I continue to try to make them happy, paying them good. Like I said, I'll pay for the satellite radio because the trucks come equipped with it. I just got to activate it. So granted, that's not too expensive, but hey, it's a it's a bonus add-on to save the driver some money. You know, it's and it's not that expensive really. But uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments. Um, like I said, it's just a thought, nothing set in stone or anything like that. But it was just some ideas that was running through my headset or my head today while I was driving. But um. Do I want this thing to sleep? Do I need it to sleep? Yeah, I don't allow it to sleep. Um, but yeah, give me a quick detour of where we're at. We got some grass right here next to us, perfect for mail. And they got a bunch of trucks. It is a full lot. And they got the shop there. And of course, I we even got security, as you can tell right there. But of course, I picked the spot that I did mainly because of the grass. So it's easy to walk mail in the morning and right now. and later on tonight right before I go to bed but I'm in the perfect spot that later on at night you know damn well people's gonna be parking right over there next to that shop these guys can get out these guys can get out but they're gonna start layering in there and after two or three of them it can get kind of tight and with where I'm parked at they can't block me in actually speaking of the devil look at that there's a couple spots over there still left to my empty to my left but yeah, he's going to go and park right there. Now granted, he might be getting some work done on his truck. I don't know. Or about to or something, you know, but who knows. Or he's just stopping to get some food, take a shower, whatever. But security, I think, is getting ready to walk over there and tell him, hey, you can't park there. <laughs> but, uh, well, guys, that's going to end this video for the day. Uh, he is walking right over to that truck. Yep, security's talking to him. But uh, we're going to head over there in the morning. Got to be over there by in between 8 and 9 o'clock. So I'll probably show up over there about 7.30. And um, get this load and get the booking. But until then, guys, we will see you in the morning. Like, share, and subscribe, like always. Uh, share the video. That way other people might see it. They might like it. They share it and subscribe. We are almost to almost to our giveaway well I'm thinking about that let me unplug my phone real quick let's see how many more subscribers do we need before I end this video I was looking at that Miley Cyrus fucking outfit she had on on the VMAs yesterday oh my god I know her father definitely ain't happy he sounds like he's okay with it with one of the interviews I was watching but there ain't no damn way in hell hell no we got 466 subscribers, so we are only 34 subscribers away from our giveaway. So hopefully, hopefully we get to that mark, then I can make my my title of you know just www. 
youtube.com backslash trucker john that way it'd be a lot easier for people to find me but uh we'll find out from there and mel's over here he's all happy he actually wanted to go in the truck today it was kind of kind of shocking when i left the house he ran out to the car he jumped to the car and i took him out of the car and put him right by the truck and he didn't even try to run back to the car he just said all right let's go so he's getting happy He's getting used to this truck. I think he likes this truck a little bit more. It took him a minute. He didn't like to lay in his own bed. He always wanted to come up here and lay next to me. I guess because it was a new truck or something. I don't know. He's not used to that smooth ride. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, like, share, and subscribe. We will see you in the morning. Take care. Uh, shiny side up. Keep that rubber side down. And uh, yeah, we will see you tomorrow.